What's going on there folks? Good evening to everyone out there. Earthmaster here on the live 3D stream. It is uh, July 14, 2021. It's the date uh, about 8.31 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Shows a 2.9 out in Hawaii. We have seen some deeper movement over the last 24 hours, including this really deep 5.1. Check it out, 626 kilometers. Wow, I mean, that's getting down there to roughly about the uh, deepest earthquake ever recorded, um, which I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's up there in the uh, upper 600s, mid 600s, somewhere around there. But either way, this area very prone uh, to seeing a renewed cycle of deep movement and then a uh, uh, progressing uh, areas north and uh, west from here seems seems to always be the uh, the picture the player this area for deep movement tends to get things started uh, what else we got here for uh, let's go ahead and bring up the uh, it's just outside running around with my nephew here so I'm not for sure how long he's gonna let me uh, do an update video um, but uh, we'll see here he's eating some trout for dinner uh, this guy's a he takes after me a lot. I uh, cook a lot of oysters and uh, a lot of seafood and whatnot. So he loves trout. That's what he's eating right now. There's the earthquake activity down here in the Fiji Islands area uh, with that 5.1. Looking at areas here to the northwest, seeing some surface movement uh, just off the coast of Taiwan once again. And some uh, movement around the Indonesia area south of Philippines. Uh, some continued deep movement uh, within this area. Uh, as far as movement to the west, China's seen a little bit of activity and also over here around the Middle East again. Uh, looks like Afghanistan getting in some action there with a uh, couple quakes there in the lower 4.0 range. Mediterranean Sea region, we'll go ahead and check out this area over here. Pretty quiet today as far as 4.0 and above goes uh, according to the USGS. Movement in South America once again uh, right around the uh, subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench down dip downstream once again uh, on areas to the north and south here uh, with a 4.8 and a 4.3 over 100 kilometers deep within that region uh, some movement out here on the uh, eastern side of the country which is you know it happens especially right around the North Carolina Virginia area the Appalachian Mountains there uh, a bold player when it comes to obvious plate tectonics uh, they do see quite a bit of earthquake movement, uh, but it, it just doesn't happen as often as you see uh, areas to the west in California and, and uh, uh, fracking operations in the Southern Plains area. But uh, we do see some, 2.7 out in Narrows, Virginia, 18 kilometers below surface. Um, right there you can see this. Uh, this is an area I have not been to. The uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, Great Smoky Mountains down here. I really want to go out there and check out, check out this area one of these days uh, and also a little bit of movement up here towards the New York area looks like right on the border um, 2.8 in the uh, in the river <laughs> uh, that one's at about five kilometers below surface uh, movement over here to the west the Intermountain West region seeing some more earthquake activity up against this ridge here regionally um, just been kind of watching this movement for quite a while some uh, increase in earthquake activity northeast uh, and north of Salt Lake City Utah nothing big just some small microquakes uh, and also movement picking up down in Southern California a little bit of swarming not much I'm not even really gonna call this too much of a significant swarm but we are seeing some movement uh, in a certain area along the Imperial Fault system this is kind of at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault even though these are different names regionally looking uh, and speaking uh, this is kind of kind of kind of one in the same a lot of buildup of pressure here um, lately especially with that swarm that we've seen there in the Salton Sea area over the past couple months up here has died down uh, but today a little bit a little bit of swarming El Centro uh, near Brawley uh, I remember staying down there that's just I don't know <laughs> just I'm not that I don't plan on ever going back down there again uh, some movement along the San Jacinto Fault area and also up here in the Riverside area along the northern end, San, Bern San Bernardino section, seeing some microquakes taking place there. Garlock Fault structure, pretty quiet. That's the shear zone. Uh, Ridgecrest, 
just seeing a little microquake activity swarm like it has been aftershock activity and uh, continued earthquake movement here into the area of uh, the Antelope Valley area. Let's check out the last 30 days of uh, all magnitudes within this area. Let's see if I can't blow up my computer. Boom! Over a thousand earthquakes um, within this vicinity. 1,074 to be exact. Following the uh, pretty good sized six pointer that struck, oh, what, a few days ago, a week ago now, somewhere around there, about a week ago. So, not unusual to see this amount of aftershocks. Um, it's possible we could see a little quiet spell. Uh, followed up by a much larger uh, aftershock sequence, not large like the uh, uh, main shock, but we could see threes or fours kick off again after a little extended period of quiet activity and then uh, continued swarming after that, uh, which is typical uh, for these type of plate systems out here, fault systems I should say, in the uh, California area and the Antelope Valley and the Walker Lane region. So yeah, pretty, pretty good size swarm of aftershocks um today what do we got about 155 that's a pretty good size number for a 24 hour period um and i believe what do we got here for the most largest magnitude here we got a 3.2 a 3.9 that did kick up uh, and i think that kind of kicked off the uh, swarm a little bit further got it going a little bit more so to speak uh so you know it's always always good to be on on the guard be prepared out there uh what do we got for northern cal pretty quiet up here in northern california region Bay Area looking absolutely quiet as well. Pacific Northwest, things calming down uh, compared to that deep movement that we did see uh, uh, over last night or so. 2.0 uh, into the uh, Oak Bay, Canada area at 20 kilometers below surface. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, I don't believe there's a whole lot going on there in the seismograph department. Looks like maybe, just maybe a short time ago, a little bit of earthquake activity kicking up there. A couple small microquakes on that map as well. Uh, what else we got here? Pretty quiet, looks like, there in the uh, Yellowstone region. Trimmer map into the Pacific Northwest and areas of the, uh, um, the uh, what's going on here? Subduction zone of the Cascadia. Movement, once again, right around that area that we seen last night that produced the uh, a little bit stronger magnitudes of quake uh, that were pretty deep northeast of Seattle, I believe. Uh, and also some movement down here into the Northern California area. We haven't seen any surface quaking into Northern California, but I expect that possibly to change. Uh, over the last seven days or so, we did see a little bit of movement at the southern end of the Cascadia on the Mendocino Fault uh, structure. Uh, just a, a trio of quakes. It all kind of struck with this one, that one, and then this one. So, you know, playing a little game of follow the leader. Um, so just definitely uh keep an eye on that region for sure see that movement up around the seattle area that i was talking about last night uh some of this movement up here deeper around 24 29 kilometers uh, below the surface in and around seattle on the um, seattle fault systems there all right folks have a good night i'm gonna jump off here i gotta attend to the uh nephew here gonna maybe watch a movie or so and then uh Call it bedtime. Hope everyone has a good night out there. Stay safe. And uh, decals are coming, folks. Decals are coming. I got an overwhelming response for decals, so I had to order a bunch more. Uh, so if you haven't got any, they are uh, they will be coming in the mail shortly. So just look for a uh, look for a uh, uh, Manila type envelope. Um, not large ones, but kind of small. Uh, but you'll see them. You'll see it once you get it. Anyway, folks, have a good night. We'll chat you a little bit later. Um, peace out.